Hi, I'm Andrew Pick and I'm Chief Engineer for Driver Assistance Testing at AB Dynamics. So we work with all of the Euro NCAP labs. Many of them use our robots and our GST for carrying out these driver assistance tests. The car-to-car -car braking scenario can occur on motorways and highways. Here this test is being performed using the GST as the target vehicle and the speed is controlled at 50 km per hour with a 12 metre separation between the vehicles. At a certain point the GST will brake, simulating an emergency stop. An inattentive driver failing to spot this will result in a serious collision, which can be prevented by a driver assistance system. It's the job of the automatic emergency braking system to apply the brakes in the event that the driver fails to do so. Immediately after the test, vehicles are returned to the original start place under robot control, allowing tests to be run in quick succession repeatedly. We run these tests using path following control for robot controlled vehicles. We can guarantee that the car stays exactly in the lane and follows the GST with very high precision. We also control the distance between the cars using Synchro, which is our car-to-car -car control strategy. We know the position of every vehicle via a accurate two centimeter GPS inertial navigation unit, and we can accurately measure the relative distances between vehicles so that we can control the vehicles to be on a precise collision path as required by these tests. Hello, my name is Leo and I'm a project engineer at AB Dynamics. You use a GST when you want a safe and reliable environment to repeatedly test your systems in advance of passing the Euro NCAP tests. The GST is perfect for playing out complex scenarios where you need to compensate for small variations or variability, particularly when using a human driver who will always drive slightly differently and ensure the test plays out just as you planned. So that the advantage of using the GST is that if the system fails to respond and work as planned, then in the event of a collision, rather than there being major damage to the test vehicle, there's, there's no damage. It's just a question of rebuilding the foam car body and running the test in a, a second time. Euro NCAP have adopted the soft car 360 that's used with the GST for the next round of automatic emergency braking testing and in fact, the soft car target has been selected as the global vehicle target for this type of ADAS testing. That means that the target will be used globally, not only for Euro NCAP testing, but potentially for tests in the US or Australia and within Asia. AB Dynamics robots are also used for testing lane keeping assist systems. And more recently, Euro NCAP have been looking at requirements for emergency lane keeping assist. If the vehicle strays towards oncoming traffic due to driver inattention, the system will be able to automatically and rapidly steer the vehicle back into its lane to avoid a collision. Due to the high relative velocities involved in testing this, the GST is the perfect tool for avoiding damage to the test vehicle. Only AB Dynamics Synchro Technology can offer the required accuracy for this highly dynamic test. We've developed our products to meet the requirements of Euro NCAP testing, and as those tests develop, our products have future proofing built in and the software and capabilities to support the growing and changing requirements of Euro NCAP test protocols.